Hello everyone. Welcome to another session of Code Basics coding tutorial. Today's topic is reading and writing to a file. And here is a list of items we are covering in this video. Okay, let's begin with creating a new file and writing some content to it. As you can see here, I have C data directory which is completely empty. I do not have any file. What I want to do is create a new file called funny.txt and write some statement into it. For that you use open statement. Open will open a new file uh, either for reading or writing. The first parameter in this uh, open function is the complete path of the file name. So I'm using c colon slash slash data slash slash funny.txt. Now, why am I using two slashes here? If I don't use two slash and just one slash, then that has a special meaning and it won't work right. So that's why I need to use two slashes here whenever I'm specifying the path of the file name. Okay, so the first uh, parameter is the file name and the second parameter is the mode in which you want to open the file. I want to write the file, so that's why I'm using W, which means write. Now let's write something into it. This has a, this uh, file handle has a function called write, where I can say, okay, I love Python. And once you're done writing to it, you should close it. Closing a file will free up all the resources that operating system is going to allocate uh, for this file. All right, let's run it. Okay, so looks like it executed fire. Fine, and now if I look at my C data directory, I'm seeing this file now, funny.txt. If I open it, I will see I love Python. Excellent. Okay. Now let me write uh, some different lines. So instead of Python, I'm saying JavaScript. If I execute it again and open this, then I see I love JavaScript. But one thing you noticed here is it overwrote the previous content. I previously had I love Python and now I have I love JavaScript. What if I don't want to overwrite the file and just append the content to it? For that, you need to use a different mode called append. So just remember, whenever you say W mode, it will always overwrite the file. So you need to say A means append. And now, as you see, I have I love JavaScript and I'm just going to use some different statement here. And I say I love C++ and I run it. See what happens. So it had I love JavaScript. Now it appended I love C++. Now this was in the same line. If you want to append it in a new line, then you need to use slash and character, which is a new line character. And you can say I love PHP. When you run it. If I open it again, you will notice now I have I love PHP in a new line. Okay, now let's see how you can work on uh, reading a file uh, line by line, right? For this, we're going to uh, work on a simple problem where your funny.txt so i'm going to open funny.txt erase all the content and i'm going to put this funny dialogue here okay you can take a moment and read it it's quite funny all right so what i want my python program to do is read this file and for each of the line i want to count the number of words and towards the end, it should append the word count. And what I want is, I want to create a new file. 
so let me first save it okay my python program will run on this file it will create a new file with a word count at the end of each line okay so first let me open this file in reading mode so if you want to read the file the mode that you specify is r okay and if you want to now read the lines one by one first first let me show you how i can uh, read the entire file content in one shot all right so when i say print f dot read and you always do f dot close let me run it cool you can see in the output that it read the whole file and it just printed the contents here so after trade gives you the entire file content now this is not what i what i want because i want to count number of words in each line so i want to go through this file line by line for this you have to use for loop when you say for line in f this will iterate through file one by one and every time line will have one specific line from that file okay so let me first print it just to show you that i'm not lying it is working as per what i j just mentioned f dot close let me run this again when i run it again again now you see every time it is reading one line if you want to count uh, the number of words in this line now what you have to do is uh, say you have this file how do you count number of words words are basically separated by spaces like these okay so if you can somehow detect these spaces then you will be able to figure out number of words in python there is a function on a string called split so when you say line dot split what you're doing is you have a string and you are splitting the, that string using this separator so i'm using space as a separator and when i do that it will give me list of tokens tokens is nothing but the list of words okay um, let me just print those tokens here so i will say str tokens you notice what just happened i went through each line one by one and for every line i split it using space what that gives me is a list of words which is an array when I print it, you see that this array, right? Now, all you have to do is, now you have an array with list of words. All you have to do is just uh, take the count. And how do you take the count? You use len command. So, len, okay? When I run it, voila, I get the word count. Now, what I want to do is, I want to open another file called f underscore out and i will use the same path and i will say okay i want to name this file as funny underscore wc which means word count and open it in a write mode so that you can write to it okay and here you will say f dot out dot write so when you want when you say write it is going to write a new line into this new file now what do we want to write here we want to write the original line as well as the word count so my original line is line okay and when you want to append to a string you can use plus operator plus operator is going to just append to that string so i will say word count and what is my word count 
str of len of tokens okay len tokens will give you the word count and you want to convert it to a string so that you can append it to another string and you can just remove this one and once everything is done you want to close the handle for the output file as well okay let's run it okay so looks like it finished successfully now let's look at our c data directory excellent now i see a new file called funny underscore work count or txt when i open this hmm i see a little problem okay so it printed word count but it was in a new line because i think we had oh, let's see line okay we had i see so we had uh slash n so that's why it, it was the end and that's why it printed word count in the next line what we can do is we can we can print word count at the beginning of the line and for doing that just append uh, this line towards the end okay let's run it again okay it executed fine now let me open funny word count when i open it what i see is this Okay, so word count six. So this line has six words. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's why word count is six and so on. Okay, so that was a real fun exercise. Uh, now let's talk about file opening modes a little more. Uh, we already covered few more such as read, which is used for reading the file only. If you open a file in read mode, you cannot write to it. Similarly, if you open a file in a write mode, you cannot read. Uh, you cannot read it. So, if you want to open a file uh, both for reading and writing, then you use R plus. So that will open a file for reading as well as writing. Uh, similarly, if you use W plus, then that will also open file for reading and writing then what's the difference between the two here the difference is if you open file like this and if let's say this file doesn't exist on your hard disk it will create the file versus in this mode it will not create the file uh, if the file doesn't exist so that's the difference otherwise they both both the modes are pretty much same and the next mode that we cover was a which is append mode uh, where you can uh, append to an existing file there are other file modes as well uh, if you just google it uh, it will the python documentation page will show you all the different modes one last thing uh, we want to cover is a with statement here you saw that you have to explicitly open and close the file if you don't want to close the file uh, explicitly because sometimes if you're writing a big program you may forget that and that's not good uh, so for that if you want to avoid this kind of situation you use a uh, with statement so I will use with statement so you'll say with open C data funny dot txt fall for reading mode as F when you do this it will do the same thing except that you don't have to now close the file i will say f dot read okay now how do i know if file gets closed automatically with with statement you can print f dot closed flag this f dot closed flags flag tells you whether the file is open or closed okay let me run it okay i'm seeing some error here oh i see i forgot one slash that's why okay so first thing what it did is f dot read printed this much output which is just the file content and the second thing is 
here it is saying true meaning f dot closed is true meaning with statement automatically close this file okay so that was all about files thanks for watching and don't forget to work on these sample exercises